Okay, so I'm Mr. Salgado. This is Algebra 1.1, um, and this time you're gonna pass, right? Yeah. Okay, hopefully. So uh, you guys all have my syllabus, right? Let's start by telling you a little bit about myself. Um, I've been working here at Southwest since the year 2000. Yep, probably before you guys were born. Yeah, definitely before you guys were born. What am I saying? Um, I attended uh, IVC for two and a half years. Um, and then after that, I transferred to UCSD. And I graduated from UCSD in San Diego um, back in 2000. I graduated and got immediately hired with an emergency credential. And I've been teaching here since. Um, I have a beautiful wife, four kids. Um, as a matter of fact, let me uh, show you who they are. There's my wife, my beautiful wife. There's me. And of course, I have my, my family, four kids, a bunch of dudes. This is Marky, the youngest one. He's two and a half. There's Ricky with the silly face. I don't know why he was doing that. He's actually here at the high school. He's a sophomore. That's Daniel. He's turning uh, seven years old later this month. That's me, obviously. And that is Paul. And Paul is eight years old. So I have a bunch of dudes at the house right there. And whenever we take pictures, we decide to pose in different different ways is like hey what's going on over there or or like silly face right like, pretty funny yes you could stretch his skin angry face I'm angry this guy looks like he's pooping he probably was <laughs> okay, no. So anyway, um, back to the syllabus. So here we go. Uh, continuing on. Here's a list of my interests, hobbies, passions. I love lifting weights. I work out. Uh, magic. I love magic. Card tricks. Any type of tricks. I, I, I would show you one. I don't have any cards on me right now. Anybody have any playing cards? No? Or how about like a quarter? Anybody have a quarter? Or a dime? Penny? Anything? Anybody? Okay, cool. All right, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this quarter disappear into my arm. All right, check this out. Wait, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on. Wait, what? what? I saw that. I saw that. Look, look, look. It's, it's in the ring. It's, not, it's in the watch. No, it's not. Check this out. It's actually in my skin. Look, could, could you feel this? Just put your finger right there. Feel it? Yeah? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's not on my sleeve. Look, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you how to do it. Show you how to do it. Okay, so when you're rubbing, you're not really rubbing. You actually hold it like this and it drops back to here. So when it looks like it looks like I don't have it looks like I don't have anything, right? But I really have it. No, I don't. It just disappears. I don't know how it happens. It's not on my sleeve. It's just, it's gone. Here's the really crazy part, right? You guys ready? That quarter is now in his left pocket. Check it out. Go, record, record it, record it. It's in, his, it's in his left pocket right there. No, I'm just kidding. It's not there. Come on. That'd be crazy. Okay. Hey, you get it possible. I also like uh, clean jokes, right? No bad words, nothing racist. I like clean jokes. Like, uh, what did one wall say to the other wall? Hi. No, it said, uh, I'll meet you in the corner. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Anyways, if you have any better jokes, let me know that are, that are clean. I like clean jokes. Uh, what else? Um, <laughs> I love uh, going to church, praying, reading the Bible, religious activities. You have a clean joke? Yeah. All right, go for it. Oh. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> but you need to know Spanish too. No. All right. Thank you. Anyway, guys, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, where are we at? We need, uh, we need a notebook and we need a pencil. All right. We need those two things every single day. You need a notebook and a pencil, something to write with and something to write on. 
So this is the type of uh, notebook that I prefer. It's a composition book. Uh, spiral notebooks are okay. Uh, three ring binders, they're acceptable, but not my preferred uh, type of notebook. So the reason why I don't like three ring binders is because the pages easily tear out of them, right? So I prefer these composition books. Um, please get one, it's part of your homework tonight. What do I mean by homework? Back on the back side of the room, uh, that nasty, those two nasty boards are your homework boards. Everything that you need to do will be written up there. Uh, the one on the left is the Algebra 1, which is what we have right here. The one on the right is not your list, it's Algebra 2. So tonight, today's day 1-7, I want you to sign up for Edmodo, which we're going to do later on in class. Um, I want you to get a parent signature on your syllabus, which you already have your syllabus. We'll go over it in a little bit. We're, we're going over it right now on this video. And I also want you to get a notebook, preferably a composition book. Everything that we do in the class will be in this uh, composition book or notebook. If you want to use a three-ring binder, it's, I guess it's okay. All right? I'm not going to force you to buy a, a composition book, but I prefer the composition books. So those are the two things that you need. You need a notebook and you need a pencil or something to write with. Right? Something to write with and something to write on, which is a notebook. Things that would be nice to have for class, a highlighter, pens, whiteout, scissors, tape, glue stick, scientific calculator. You don't need to buy any of that stuff. All right? It'd be nice. Uh, but for the most part, I have calculators for you guys to use. I have tape or glue sticks for you guys to use. I have scissors. So you don't have to wor really worry about buying anything else, but it'd be nice if you had your own highlighter and your own pens, of course. Um, things you must do immediately, right? This is part of your homework. If you looked at the homework board, it says sign up for Edmodo um, and also get, uh, well, let's just go through this. We want to sign up for Remind as well. Okay, now what is Remind? I have this written on the board right here. It's the instructions on how to sign up for Remind. It's really a texting app. So I could text you, you could text me, I could remind you about things, and we don't have to know each other's phone numbers, right? So uh, if you have a cell phone and you're able to text, might as well take it out right now if you have a signal. If you don't, then I guess you could do it later. But if you have a cell phone, you have a signal right now, let's take it out. And what I want you to do is send a text message to this phone number, 81010, okay? Um, you guys are in my period four class, so the message that you want to send to the phone number 81010 is at, the symbol at, K-E-7-8-K-A, all lowercase, all together, no spaces. So if you have a cell phone, take it out right now, and you're going to send a text message to the phone number 81010. Okay, the phone number 81010, and if you don't have a cell phone, uh, and your parents do, you might want to write down this phone number, 81010. And then for this class, this is the message that you're going to send at KE78KA. All lowercase, no spaces, all together. Hit send, and then it's going to ask you for some information your first and last name. Please put your first and last name. Don't make up stuff. Donald Trump is not in this class, right? So, uh, first and last name, don't make up names. Um, I will be checking to see if you actually signed up. If your parents are doing it for you, sign up uh, with your name and then put parents afterwards if it's their cell phone. Anyway, this is a great way for me to remind you that, hey, the notebooks are due tomorrow. Hey, there's a quiz tomorrow. Hey, I'm collecting this homework assignment tomorrow. So it's a great way to have communication without knowing each other's phone numbers. And if you guys need something from me, like you could text me through this app. You could uh, send me a text. Like, oh, I'm not going to be there tomorrow. Is there anything I should do? You know, it's a great way of communicating. Another thing I would like you to do besides signing up for Remind is to sign up for Edmodo at edmodo.com using the group code or class code. Uh, so I need you to actually jot down the code right here. And what is the code? If you're in my period three class, the edmodo.com code would be this. But your period four class is right here, G-I-U-J-I-V, all together, all lowercase, not underlined, right? I just put the underline there, but do not underline it, right? Just type this code in, and it'll automatically sign you up for my Edmodo class. Uh, we will have time at the end of this class to sign up, but there's some students that are going to be watching this for the first time at home, um, so they'll be able to sign up there. Anyway, uh, a third thing that you don't have to do, but it would be nice. What is it? Search Ricardo Salgado, that's my name, Ricardo Salgado Math on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Not because I want more followers, uh, but the fact is if you're having technical difficulties trying to log on to Edmodo, uh, you could always just get the videos from my YouTube channel, right? So I would like you to do that as well. 
Um, classroom rules, be on time. When the bell rings, you're inside, not outside, right? All, I, I stepped in as the bell ended. No, that's not good. You gotta be inside when the bell starts ringing. Um, be prepared. What are the two things that you need to be prepared? Pencil and your notebook, right? Something to write with, something to write on. Uh, number three, follow instructions. Everybody, do me a favor right now. Stand up. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're all going to sit down. Go for it. What? I know, I'm sorry. But that was a great example. Everybody, everybody followed instructions. Perfect, great. Okay, um, we want to use appropriate language. Please, guys, no bad words. All right? Please, no bad words. I hate bad words. No, even, even the word stupid, I don't, like, I don't, I don't want it. Yeah, that's stupid. Don't, don't say that. Um, we want to be as, as polite. We want to be as respectful as possible. So please use appropriate language. Okay? No bad words. Um, so I understand some of us were, maybe, maybe your parents cuss a lot. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. All right? I'm not judging. But... And maybe it's very natural for you to say bad words. So if that's the case, all I ask you to do is, is tweak it a little, right? Instead of mother trucker, right? <laughs> Son of a biscuit. I don't know. It just make, no bad words, right? Just no bad words. No foul language. Let's keep going here. Um, keep hands, feet, other objects to yourself. Obviously, I mean, everybody messes around with their friends. No punching each other. No pushing each other. Like, let's be respectful. Um, Classroom procedures, here is a big one. Number one, when I raise my hand, you guys say shh, right? As loud as you could. Whenever I raise my hand, you guys go shh, right? So we need to practice this, and we're going to practice it a lot. Here we go, one, two, three. That's great, but don't spit on anybody, all right? Okay, you want to say shh, right? But, and I need everybody to do it, okay, everybody. Okay, whenever I raise my hand, you guys go shh, count of three, one, two, three. Okay. Now, whenever I raise my hand, and only when I raise my hand, and everybody do it. Thank you. Okay, you can't fake it. You can't go. Right? You got to actually shh. All right? Here we go. Great. Okay, so anytime I raise my hand, you guys go. It doesn't matter if I'm right in the middle of a sentence, right? If I do, you guys go. Perfect. Number two, respect and be positive. Again, be polite, encourage each other, right? If I say, what's three plus two, and somebody says seven, don't call them an idiot, right? <laughs> Just be, be nice to them, right? Hey, it's actually, it's actually five, all right? So uh, we want to encourage each other. See, honestly, guys, what I want to do uh, with this class is for it to be a, a safe place where nobody is afraid of participating, nobody's afraid of messing up. It's great that we mess up. That's the only way we learn. If we do a math problem and mess up and we learn from our mistakes, that's the way to grow, right? If everybody gets everything right all the time, there is no growing, right? There's no learning. So um, let's be respectful, positive, encourage each other, even if uh, they mess up in class on simple mistakes. Um, stay in your seats at all times. Um, yes, you could get up and sharpen your pencil. Yes, you could throw away trash. But please don't cross right in front of the, of the screen when I'm recording or when I'm giving a lesson, right? Um, so, of course, use common sense. Uh, stay in your seats. If there's a fire, please get up and run out. Don't stay in your seat, obviously. Okay, number four, uh, no cell phones, iPods, tablets, or any music devices visible in class. Got it? Cordy? Okay, so none of these. So none of these, whether you have the wire or not, whether you have music or not, right? So, like, if somebody's talking to me and I, I'm just ignoring you, it's not cool because... If you're hearing something, it's hard to pay attention. And then none of this, like, I'm not listening to music. I just, I just have it in my ear. That's not cool, right? So this, none of this. So put them away. So it's okay to have cell phones. It's okay to have your AirPods on or your headphones on when I allow you to, right? So sometimes after a quiz, there's time left over. We're waiting for everybody else to finish. Hey, Mr. Salgado, could I listen to music? Sure, why not, right? So uh, just don't have it visible. If you have cell phones, don't have it on your desk. If you get a text, you're going to look at it. It's hard to ignore it. So please keep it in your pocket or in your backpack. Keep it on silent. Uh, let's flip this over to the backside, the really important stuff, your grade. So 70% of your entire semester report card grade comes from some type of quiz or test, some type of, some type of assessment. 33% um, are quizzes, 37% tests. 
But then you have 12% the final exam right before summer break and 8% midterm exam. So technically 90% of your grade comes from some type of quiz, test, midterm, or final. The other 10% comes from your notebook, that composition book that I ask you to get for homework tonight. And tomorrow we'll discuss how to set that up. Um, all homework or assignments will not be collected on a daily basis. As a matter of fact, when I give you a homework assignment, I'll give you the answers to it. And that's not so you could just copy it, that'd be ridiculous. Homework is all about practice. So you wanna take your homework, you wanna practice, and I give you the answers so you could check and see if you're doing it right. If you're not doing it right, that's when you ask me for help. Um, so uh, we will be getting homework regularly. I'm not gonna be collecting it regularly. You're gonna be glue sticking it into your notebook or doing it in your notebook. And then after the unit ends, then I'll pick up the notebook and I'll be checking to see if you're actually keeping up with all the homework. But we'll talk about the notebook uh, tomorrow. Let's continue on here. So a lot of us freak out because tests and quizzes are worth so big, uh, such a big part of your grade in this class. Don't freak out. Why? Because if you flunk it, you could retake it, right? Even before that, let's say you took the first quiz this Friday and you got every single question wrong and you even misspelled your name, okay? You're not gonna get a 0% F, you're gonna get a 40% F, okay, 40%. I mean, it's still an F, but it's not that bad, right? So the lowest possible grade you could get is a 40% F. That's the first nine weeks of this semester. Um, and then the, the last nine weeks of this semester, it drops to a 30%, right? So you get minimum scores. That kind of prevents you guys from dropping so low that you can't come back up. So uh, do your best. I'm expecting you guys to all have a C or better in this class. Um, but there is this, this uh, safety net of a 40% this first nine weeks. All right, so let's say you got a total F, and uh, what could you do? You could correct the quiz or the test. Now, what do I mean by correct it? Uh, it says right here, extra credit on quizzes and tests. You could correct it, but you have to redo the question in your notebook. You have to give a written explanation of what you did wrong or how you do it right in complete sentences, grammatically correct, and then you show it to me and you automatically get a 5% boost. So your 55% could go up to a 60%. Let's say you got a 95% A, right? You got an A, you're, not, you're an awesome student, you got an A. You missed one question, you got a 95%. Should you do corrections? No. Heck yeah. Why? Because if you miss one question, you're gonna only have to correct one question and your 95% will go up to 100%, right? So everybody should be doing corrections. It doesn't matter if you get an F or an A, unless you got a perfect score, 100%, then you have, don't have to do corrections but corrections are extra credit opportunities. And believe me, last semester I had students come in, oh Salgado, all I needed was one more percent point, two more percent points, right, um, to pass your class. If they would have done the corrections, they'd have five extra credit percent points bumping up their grade. That's half a letter grade, guys, so take advantage of corrections. Um, what else? If you still are not satisfied with your score, even with the 5% boost, you could retake any quiz or test, no final, no midterm. But if you flunk a quiz or test, retake it, and I recommend you retake it within, let's say, a week of, of getting your test score back. You don't wanna wait one month or two months to retake something because this is Algebra 1 and we keep building off of the skills that we learn. So if you wanna retake something, please do it as quickly as possible and it will replace your grade. You could flunk it the first time, get an A the second time, the A will go into your, your grade. It's pretty crazy, right? Anyway, I guess that's about it. Are there any questions? So for your homework, I want you to sign this right there where it says student signatures. I want you to show this to your parents. Uh, they could sign it. You could even show them this video that I just recorded in class so they could uh, see who I am and see how the class uh, is gonna be run. Anyhow, last detail. Um, over here by the door, uh, there's the restroom passes right there. There's a clipboard that tells you to put your name, your ID, and the time you left and the time you came back, and you take this, uh, this little uh, restroom pass slip. Leave the clip, clipboard, take the slip. But you have to fill out the clipboard in order to go to the restroom. Tardy logs, if you're late, you just fill in the information on the tardy log list. There's pencils and pens right here. Uh, so I guess we'll talk about the notebook itself tomorrow.